In today's video, we'll take a trip to a lake that hides a dark secret and an extraterrestrial formation. First though, let's take a look at a well-preserved winter sport apparatus. Well-preserved skis. Archaeologists discovered a single wooden ski frozen in ice on the Dijervarden mountain in southern Norway in 2014. The nearly intact skis were found frozen in ice, complete with a leather binding, and was estimated to be around 1300 years old. Since it was only a single ski, then surely it would have a pair as well, right? The archaeologists have been looking for the second one in the ice patch for years. And seven years after the first one, they found the missing pair in September of 2021. Just like the first one they found, the second ski is also made of wood. However, it was in far better condition, and it may be because of the fact that it was buried deeper in the ice. It measures 187 centimeters long and 17 centimeters wide. It showed signs of having been repaired and maintained several times, leading the researchers to believe that skis were too valuable to be thrown away back then. Pretty interesting to learn that the art of skiing's been around for a long time, dating back to 6000 BCE even. Liuba A female woolly mammoth calf, which had been washed out of the permafrost along the Yerebi River, was discovered by Yuri Kuti, a hunter and breeder of Nanette's reindeer. He and his son stumbled upon this in May of 2007. The discovery was completely accidental as well. This specimen, later named Liuba after Cootie's wife, died when she was 30 to 35 days old. It weighed 50 kilograms and was roughly the size of a large dog. When the hunter discovered the remains, he realized it was a fantastic find and decided to enlist the assistance of a friend. His friend in turn suggested contacting a museum director to look into the remains further. The hunter led the experts back to where he discovered the body, but when they arrived, Liuba's body had vanished. It was later discovered that the hunter's cousin decided to sell the remains for profit. Experts tracked down the person to whom the hunter's cousin sold it to and discovered the remains to be as well preserved as the hunter had found them. The skin, the trunk, and even the eyes of the mammoth were all intact. The amazing find is now on display to the public in a museum close to where the remains were discovered. Lake Vostok one of the largest subglacial lakes in the world, Lake Vostok is deep, dark, and mysterious. Lake Vostok, formerly a sizable surface lake in East Antarctica, is now covered by about 4 kilometers of ice. It lies rather closely to Russia's Vostok Research Station. The lake's been covered in ice for millennia, cutting it off from light and contact with the atmosphere, making it one of the most extreme environments on the planet. Despite its remote location and harsh environment, Lake Vostok is home to thousands of rare organisms. They range from microscopic microbes to fungi and bacteria, making Lake Vostok a fascinating case study on how life survives in harsh conditions like high pressure and high temps. Lake Vostok, located 800 miles or 1300 kilometers south of the South Pole, is thought to have been open to the air and surrounded by a forested ecosystem more than 35 million years ago. They believe that life forms were transported into the lake from the atmosphere until it was sealed up by ice around 15 million years ago. The buried lake is now 250 kilometers long and 350 kilometers wide. Its depth is estimated to be about 344 meters. Woolly Rhino Locals in eastern Siberia have reportedly discovered the astonishingly well-preserved remains of an Ice Age woolly rhino. The rhino was discovered by melting permafrost in Yakutia Zabiski region in northeastern Russia. It is one of the best preserved animals ever discovered in the area, with the rhino's internal organs being mostly intact. It's thought that the rhino lived between 20,000 and 50,000 years ago, during the late Pleistocene era. When it passed away, most likely from drowning, the rhino was between 3 and 4 years old. Much of the rhino's soft tissue, including some of the intestines and genitalia, were still exposed. According to Mrs. Plotnikov, a paleontologist with the Russian Academy of Sciences, a small nasal horn has also been preserved. This is a rarity since it decomposes rather quickly. She also noted that the horn's wear traces suggested the rhino was actively using it for food. A local resident discovered the rhino on the bank of the Tirakith River in August. Another young woolly rhino was also rescued in 2014 from a location not far from there. Sasha, the rhino's name given by the researchers, was thought to be about 34,000 years old. Rupkand, Skeleton Lake A lake near the Himalayas appears to be innocent enough until warmer months melt the ice away, revealing something out of a horror film. Rupkand Lake is located in the Indian Himalayas, approximately 16,500 feet above sea level. 
It's a pond in a desolate snow-covered valley that is 130 feet wide and remains frozen for a large portion of the year. Once the warmer days arrive, hundreds of human skeletons, some with the flesh still attached and well-preserved, emerge from the water, giving it its nickname of Skeleton Lake. An estimated 600 to 800 people's skeletal remains have been discovered here so far. The local government refers to it as a mystery lake in tourism promotions. Anthropologists and scientists have studied the remains for more than 50 years and have been perplexed by a variety of issues. According to earlier skeleton studies, the majority of the deceased were tall and had more than average stature. The majority of them, though, were middle-aged adults between the ages of 35 and 40. The remains of 38 bodies, including 15 women, were discovered at the lake. Genetic analysis and carbon dating reveal that some of the remains date as far back as 1,200 years ago. The Iceman A mummy named Otzi the Iceman was discovered. He was found frozen in the Otzil Alps in 1991. The man is said to date back to 3000 BC and the body was found by two tourists. They then alerted the proper authorities and excavation begun. Researchers quickly realized they had made a serious mistake after starting the body's excavation, though. Seven of the people who helped unearth him died 13 years after the body was removed. According to reports, four of the deaths were violent, while the others died naturally. Ozzy the Iceman is said to have died violently and being speared in the head with an arrow and bashed in the head several times with a rock. There are many theories that claim the Iceman cursed those who took him out of his icy grave in order to exact revenge on them. Although the deaths are coincidental, there is no proof that Auntie's curse is to blame here. Alien Eggs The number of stars in the universe is allegedly greater than the number of sand grains on Earth. Because of this, a lot of people believe that it's rather impossible that we, as humans, are completely alone. This brings us to the question, do aliens truly exist? Some claim a video taken on the surface of the Utah lake proves aliens are in the area and are planning something. Worldwide confusion has been caused by a video that Jason Nilsson posted on YouTube. Showcases a circular arrangement of tiny, spongy objects that appear to have melted through the ice with no resistance whatsoever. You can see them try to poke it and describe that it has a rather slimy texture, and also mention that these could be alien eggs. However, the true origin of this mysterious circle isn't as extraterrestrial as you might think it might be. Apparently, this was originally an art installation made by Claire Lewis. The eggs were made out of flour, salt, and water. Lewis thinks that the salt melted the ice and three years after installing it became these so-called alien eggs. Now it's time for the day's best pick. We'll be taking a look at some rather eerie looking figures in the ice. Point Warrenzoff Statues 85 life-size human sculptures stand along the snow-covered coastline of Anchorage, Alaska, some peering towards the sky, others with downcast eyes. At first glance, the statues seem rather unsettling to look at. However, these lifelike figures were made for a very good reason. Every single statue has been cast from someone affected by any type of emotional trauma, be it abuse, chronic or mental illnesses, depression, or other traumatic life events. The lead project artist, Sarah Davies, says that 100 Stone, the name of the art installation, served as both a mental illness awareness and suicide awareness project. The majority of the figures, but not all, faced the water in dejected or despairing poses. Some were paired as compositions of a clutching parent and child, and one statue of a man appeared to be struggling to stand due to his own sorrow. This one in particular was depicted ineffectively attempting to lift another statue whose chest had sunk into the ground. Davies explained that the exhibition's title alludes to the overwhelming weight that many people suffer from depression. She compared receiving effective treatment to having the weight removed. Molivirus Global warming is a phenomenon that causes ice caps to melt. While most people are aware that global warming is bad, the consequences are far more severe. Melting of this ice is revealing previously frozen viruses. A deadly virus was discovered a few hundred feet beneath the tundra of Siberia only a few years ago, and it was still active. Discovered beneath the Siberian permafrost, as if from a movie plot, this virus is called Molivirus Sibiricum, as one of several ancient viruses known as giant viruses. However, the new virus poses no danger to modern humans. During the Upper Paleolithic or Late Stone Age, it infected single-celled amoebas. The virus was discovered in a soil sample taken approximately 30 meters below the surface. Although this isn't of immediate concern, it doesn't rule out the possibility that other, potentially more dangerous viruses are trapped inside the ice chambers, ready to break free. 
Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, he does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. The Incan Mummy One look at this still figure and you'd simply assume that she's asleep. However, she's more than asleep, she's been mummified. There's so much detail in this frozen figure's body that it sends shivers down your spine just to look at her. Her remains are said to be one of the most well-preserved in the entire world. This Incan mummy was discovered over 20,000 feet above sea level on the rim of a volcano, accompanied by two other children. She was said to be so well-preserved that she still had lice in her hair. The mummy, also known as La Dancella, or the Maiden, is that of a teenage girl who perished in the Andes Mountains during a ritual sacrifice more than 500 years ago. Archaeologists who discovered the mummified remains in Argentina in 1999 claimed that the girl and two other kids were abandoned on a mountaintop to perish from the cold as sacrifices of the gods. Now Londoncella is displayed in the High Country Archaeological Museum in Salta, Argentina, and is played in a refrigerated, low-oxygen environment. See you all next time!